Have you ever felt like you're constantly juggling too many things? Never truly excelling at anything? Well, you're not alone. In this video, we're going to explore top 10 insights from the groundbreaking book, Essentialism, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less, by Greg McKeown. Get ready to learn how to declutter your life, prioritize what truly matters, and unlock the secrets of success. Insight 1, The Curse of Non-Essentialism. Non-Essentialism has taken over our lives. In our fast-paced world, multitasking seems like a badge of honor. But the truth is, it's causing us to spread ourselves too thin. We start strong, but as we take on more and more, our focus weakens and the quality of our work suffers. Successful people often follow a familiar path. They succeed, gain more opportunities, but in the process, they lose resources and energy. The result? They end up contributing little to new projects, spreading themselves too thin. This cycle is the curse of non-essentialism, and it's time to break free from it. Insight 2. The Essence of Essentialism Enter essentialism, the art of finding your true priorities and dedicating yourself to them. Imagine having a clear focus, like a laser beam, on what truly matters. Essentialists understand the power of saying no to non-essential opportunities and investing their energy where it counts. It may sound like a luxury, but it's a powerful productivity booster. When you focus solely on your top priorities, you give them the attention they deserve, resulting in better quality work. Insight 3. The Importance of Prioritization How many times have you let others make decisions for you? It's time to take control. When we don't prioritize, others decide for us. Choices are influenced by many factors, just like in a restaurant where decor, music, and even what others order can sway your decision. But essentialism teaches us to embrace the idea that less can be better. Start by ruling out anything not obviously vital to your primary goal. Don't let others dictate your choices. Insight 4. The Art of Trade-Offs Essentialism requires us to make trade-offs. Sometimes you must abandon goals that, while nice to have, aren't vital. This preserves your resources and energy for what truly matters. Businesses like Southwest Airlines thrived by eliminating non-essentials. They focused on point-to-point -point service, cutting out unnecessary routes. Remember, trade-offs are conscious decisions that lead to sustainable success. Insight 5. Mastering Focus and Isolation To be an essentialist, you must master focus. Isolation from distractions is key. Greg McCune called it monk mode. But it's not just about isolation. It's also about protecting your mind with good sleep, allowing for creativity through play, and staying sharp. Isolation is a well-known tool for enhancing focus, from artists' retreats to remote cabins. By setting aside dedicated distraction-free time, you can enhance your productivity and creativity. Insight 6. The Art of Saying No Learning to say no can be challenging especially if you fear the consequences. But there are ways to do it gracefully. You can offer to consider it after completing other tasks or ask the requester to decide what to deprioritize. Remember, saying no doesn't mean you're selfish. It means you're prioritizing what truly matters. Insight 7. Define clear goals. Essentialism requires clear goals. Vague mission statements don't cut it. If you can't define when a goal is accomplished, you'll constantly be chasing an elusive target. Even for personal priorities, set measurable goals. If family is a priority, define specific actions like spending a set amount of time with loved ones or attending important events. Insight 8. Eliminating the non-essential. Essentialism means becoming an editor of your life. Remove non-essentials to make the essential clear. Set boundaries for when you're available for work and don't let sunk costs keep you tied to unproductive endeavors. Make conscious trade-offs to prioritize solvency over unsustainable growth. By letting go of what doesn't serve your goals, you create space for what truly matters. Insight 9. Streamline processes. Streamlining processes is another essentialist practice. Create buffers for time and resources, eliminate bottlenecks, and structure tasks as a series of small steps. Just like in chemistry, identifying limiting factors and optimizing processes ensures efficiency and success. Insight 10. Make essentialism a lifestyle. Essentialism isn't just for work, it's a lifestyle. Implement it by establishing routines that prioritize what truly matters. Be present in the moment and make essentialism the core of every decision. 
This approach shares similarities with Zen Buddhism, where consistency and presence in the moment is a crucial aspect of living an essentialist lifestyle. And there you have it, our guide to essentialism by Greg McKeown. This disciplined pursuit of less can lead to a more fulfilling, focused, and productive life. By embracing essentialism, you can achieve more by doing less and truly excel in what matters most to you. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more life-changing content. Until next time, remember, less is often more, and essentialism can unlock your true potential. Visit instaread.co to enjoy access to best-selling book summaries and premium content, all available in 15-minute audio or text segments. If you want to learn how to harness the extraordinary power of small, incremental changes to create lasting habits, then watch this video. I will see you there.